Good morning, students. My name is Samuel Chuku Emeka. And in this video, we shall multiply compound numbers in the United States customary system. Before you view this video, please, it is recommended, highly recommended, that you view the videos on conversion between units, conversion among units, addition of compound numbers, and subtraction of compound numbers. It is important. Uh, this video is part of a playlist, and it is good that you view the playlist in order in order to have a greater understanding, a better understanding of the multiplication of compound numbers. All right, let's begin solving questions. Question one, eight feet, three inches times two. Now, before I uh, actually start solving these questions, let me kind of, uh, review some uh, important concepts as well. If I ask you now, okay, how many tools are in 11? How many tools? Assuming I ask you, for instance, how many tools are in 11? Right? Now, how are you going to do this? You will, what, you will tell me, um, Okay, the, I mean, it's, you know, 2 and 11 is kind of common. You tell me, okay, it's five tools and then remainder one. Okay, but you have five tools and 11. Okay, now, another way you can do it, which is the way I want us to uh, understand so that we can solve these questions, is uh, you just do 11 divided by 2, and that gives you five remainder one. Okay, just that, 2 divide 11, then 5 times 2, 10, then 1. So you have 5 twos remaining 11. Now, this is important for us in this topic because the, uh, the principle of solving a multiplication of compound numbers is, you, of course, you start with the uh, list unit on the right. Then if you have excess, when you get the list unit on the right, then you find the relationship between what you got and the greater unit, just like we've been doing. And if there is an excess, you've got to, uh, you have to keep in mind of that excess. You cannot just write it like that. I mean, you have to. We don't want excesses, okay? As we do more problems, you will see what I'm talking about. All right, question one, eight feet, three inches times two. Okay, now let me erase this so that you don't get confused with it. Okay, so uh, we start with the, uh, we start with the uh, uh, list units on the right, which is inches. Three inches times two gives us what, six inches. Then you ask yourself, what is the relationship between inches and feet? We see that uh, one feet makes 12 inches, but we've got six inches, so we are good. Uh, six inches is less than 12 inches. You cannot, you can't get a, how many whole number feet can you get? You can't get any whole number feet or integer feet. So we just write six inches. And then two times eight feet gives us 16 feet. So our answer becomes 16 feet, 6 inches. Question 2. 10 miles, 210 rods, times 1.4. Uh, you do 210 times uh, 1.4. Uh, that gives us uh, 294, 294 rods. So you ask yourself, what is the relationship between miles and rods? We see that one mile is uh, 320 rods. So, uh, and we have uh, 294 rods. So, 294 rods is less than 
320 rods. So we are fine. We are good. So we just write 294 rods. Then we now do a 10 times a 1.4, 10 miles times 1.4, and that gives us 14 miles. So our answer becomes a 14 miles, 294 rods. Hope you got it. Question 3. 12 yards, 2 feet, 9 inches, times half. Now, you know, the way this system works is if they give you your question in uh, decimal, you leave it in decimal. If they give it to you in fraction, you leave it in fraction. You know, that is a recommended uh, approach to doing that. Okay, so we start with the list unit on the right, which is inches. Nine times, nine inches times half. Uh, of course, if we do a nine times half, right? That gives us 9 over 2, which is a 4 and a half, right? Now, uh, we, we ask ourselves, what is the relationship between uh, inches and feet? We see that 12 inches make 1 feet. So it is uh, less than 4 and a half inches. It's less than uh, 12 inches. So we are good. All right? Now, some people might write 4.5 inches, okay, but... We recommend, okay, you leave it, uh, unless the question does not say so, usually the question will tell you leave it in the same uh, format as you say it. Uh, leave it in the same unit as you say it, and then it is good to also leave it in the same format as you say it. If they give it to you in half, in a, I mean in fraction, leave it in, leave it in fraction. If they give it to you in decimal, leave it in decimal. Okay, so unless otherwise stated. So this is a four and a half inch. Then a two times one half, of course, will give you one. So this is one feet. Now, if you have any question on a multiplying fraction, please, I did a video on multipli uh, multiplying fractions. So view that video, please, to know how to multiply fraction. Then 12 times one half, of course, will give us six. So six. So we now have a uh, six yards, one feet, and four and a half inches. Okay. Question four. Twenty yards, two feet, times eight. We start with the list unit on the right, which is feet. We now say two times eight is what 16 i mean two feet times eight is 16 feet so we have 16 feet you ask yourself what is the relationship between a and let me kind of show this work here uh, what is the relationship between a feet and yard two feet times eight will give us 16 feet okay now this multiplication is the same thing as asterisks okay that's the way i put it whether it's dot product or asterisk is multiplication. So don't get confused, please. So we have a 16 feet. Then you ask yourself, what is the relationship between a feet and yard? We have that a one yard is a three feet, right? Uh, now, you, this is where the thing comes. How many, we, we want to get, how many yards can we get from 16 feet? That's, that is what we're asking about now. How many yards can we get from 16 feet? In other words, how many trees can we get from 16? That, in other words, that is what it means. How many trees can we get from 16? So we can actually get a five trees, right? Five trees. And those five trees means five yards. Those five trees means what? Five yards. So let's write out five yards here. And I'm going to circle it. So we can get five yards out. And when we get five yards out, which is 15 feet, right? The excess is 16 feet minus 15 feet. The excess is uh, 16 feet minus uh, 15 feet. Because five yards is 15 feet. 
are you with me now you need to really understand this okay so this is now one fee remaining so i will come here uh i'll come here and i'll write one fee okay then i'll now do uh, eight times 20 yards 20 yards times eight will give us a hundred and sixty yards then i'll now add it to five a hundred and sixty yards plus five will give us a hundred and sixty five yards now you've got you've really got to be uh careful here when you have excess you have to find it in terms of the greater unit and you write the remainder down so we have to find how many yards can we get from 16 feet we can actually get five yards because if it's like saying how many trees are in 16 is five trees remainder one you write the remainder down and then you carry over the yards then when you now do eight times 20 160 then plus five 165 yards so our answer becomes uh, 165 yards one feet Question 5. 14 feet, 3 inches, times 5.5. So they give, uh, this is now uh, in decimal. So we've got to, we have to give it to them in decimal. If we multiply and it doesn't give us a whole number, then we give it to them in decimal. Now if it gives us a whole number, of course, we write the whole number. Okay, unless otherwise stated. Okay. Okay. Uh, we do a 3 inches times 5.5, right? That will give us what? If we do a 5.5 times 3, uh, 3 inches uh, times 5.5. So that gives us 16.5 uh, inches, right? We now say, we now ask ourselves, what is the relationship between a uh, feet and inches? At, uh, 12 inches make one feet so wh what is that set we've got a, now we have 16.5 inches how many feet can we carve out of 16.5 inches how many feet uh, uh, one feet is a uh, 12 uh, inches so this goes to uh, uh, what we did in a conversion uh, between units now we can carry out 12 inches which is one feet okay we can't carry out two feet because two feet will give us 24 inches and that was that is uh, greater than a uh, 16.5 so it's just like saying how many 12s can you get in 16.5 and what is the remainder you can get one 12 then remainder is uh, 4.5 inches. Please, you need to really understand this concept. Okay, how many feet can you carve out of 16.5? Okay, or ca can you carve out of it? Can you get from it? How many feet can you get from 16.5 inches? And we see that one feet is uh, 12 inches. So you, you get 12 inches, and what is remaining uh, is 16.5 minus 12 which is a 4.5 you see that is why uh, viewing those prerequisite videos is important because it will take care of this so please do that all right then uh, we when we do that we are carving out one feet which i will write on a, a blue color and i'll write it by the side so i don't forget you may want to do that as well then you now do a 14 feet times 5.5 right 14 feet times 5.5 14 feet uh, times 5.5 and that will give us a uh, 14 times 5 is 70 so 0.5 is 7 and that gives us 77 feet 77 feet right so uh 77 feet plus one you now do 77 feet plus one feet right and that gives us 78 feet 78 feet 
So our answer becomes uh, 78 feet, 4.5 inches. Okay? Question 6. 8 yards, 2 feet, 3 inches, times 2. Okay, we start with the least unit on the right, which is inches. 3 inches times 2 is uh, 6 inches. Uh, what is the relationship between feet and inches? 12 inches make one foot. Uh, we have 6 inches, so it's smaller than uh, 12 inches. Right? So we just write it that way. We cannot cover out a, we cannot uh, get uh, any whole feet. We can't get any whole feet or any whole foot from uh, 6 inches. No. Then you do 12 feet, I mean 12 feet times 2. I'm sorry, sorry. Two feet times two. Right? Let me kind of write this here. Three inches times two gives us six inches. We can't get any whole feet from it. Then we do tw two feet times uh, two. Gives us four feet. Then you ask yourself, what is the relationship between a uh, feet and the uh, yard, we see that one yard make a uh, three feet. So we can actually get uh, uh, one yard from this guy, from four feet. We can get one yard from this guy, four feet. So uh, let me just write it here, one yard. We can get one yard. Let me kind of write it by the side. If I write it on top, you know, some of you might think I'm, I'm doing uh, this thing. Let me write it by the side. Now. Uh, let me see. Okay. We can get one yard. One yard. So, and the remainder will be a uh, one feet. Okay. Because if we get one yard, which is three feet, then four feet minus three feet gives us a uh, one feet. Right? Then you now do a uh, two times eight is eight yards times two is a uh, 16 yards. Right? Eight yards times two gives you a 16 yards then 16 yards plus one yard i can actually write this step by step but the video will be long and i don't want you to get bored by long videos okay so you probably will need to write this out you know as i'm saying it you write it out as i'm saying it you write it out so that you can uh, make have a so it will make more sense to you okay so this uh, becomes a uh, 17 yards one feet six inches Question A, 4 yards, 2 feet, 7 inches, times 4. Alright, we start with the 7 inches times 4. Gives us 28 inches. How many feet can we get from 28 inches? Um, that would be 28 divided by 12, which gives us a... We can actually get a 2 feet and 4 inches, right? Two feet and four inches. That's what we're gonna get. Okay? And of course the four inches is the the remainder is the inches. Then we got we got a two feet. Two feet. Right? Then you now do four times two feet is eight feet. Eight feet plus two feet. Now you, you now you, you've got to add this. You've got to add it. Don't forget. Okay. Four times two feet. Two feet 
Let me change my markers. So two feet times four is eight feet. Then you've got to add eight feet plus two feet, right? Which is uh, ten feet. Then you ask, then you check the next one, yard and feet. How many yards can you get from ten feet? Now one yard is uh, three feet. So how many trees can you get from ten? Uh, that is uh, three divided ten, which is three remainder one, right? Remainder one. That remainder is our feet, right? And we carved out three yards. Remember, remember the integer part is the yard. Uh, is the yard. And the remainder is the feet. And then we cover three yards. Then you now do four yards times four, which is 16 yards, plus three yards, which gives us now 19 yards. Okay? So our answer becomes 19 yards, one feet, four inches. Question 9, last but not least. We've got another fraction. 10 yards, 1 feet, 7 uh, 3 fourths inches times 3. So uh, we do 7 3 fourths times 3. 7 3 fourths inches times 3. Uh, times 3. 4 times 7, 28 plus 3, 31. 31 over 4 times 3. Excuse me. This is an inch. Excuse me. 93 over 4, right? So let's get it done. Uh, 93 over 4. The, uh, 4 into 93. Uh, 2 is 8. 13. 4, 3. 3 is 12. 1. So we have a 23. 1 over 4 inches right now 23 1 over 4 inches and then uh, uh, 12 inches make one feet right so how many uh, feet can we get from a uh, 23 1 over 4 inches of course we that means we divide 23 1 over 4 by 12 or you just subtract the SX you know just like I said in the previous videos you can either subtract the SX or you kind of divide it uh, 12 divided uh, 23, 1 over 4. Uh, that will give us 1, 12, uh, 11, 1 over 4 inches. So, integer is in feet, uh, the remainder is in inches. So, this is 11, 1 over 4 inches. And we got 1 feet from it, right? Then, 3 times, 1 feet times 3 feet is 3 feet, plus 1 feet is 4 feet. Okay, four feet and yard, so that will bring us an excess feet, which we don't want. We don't want excess feet, so we cover, we we get some yard from the feet, right? Uh, let me erase this. Uh, how many yards can we get from the feet? We have that the three feet is one yard, so we've got to divide that four. By three, one, three, one. So the integer part is in yards. So we could get out one yard. We could get out one yard. And the remainder is uh, one feet, right? Then three times ten yards is thirty yards plus one yards, thirty-one yards. So our answer becomes uh, thirty-one yards, one feet, eleven one quarter inches uh, please uh, I have to stop here so that uh, the video doesn't go too long um, please practice on this okay practice on this uh, view those videos that are the prerequisites and uh, work more on this okay thank you so much students for listening to this video presentation if you have any questions please feel free to go to my website uh, samdomforpeace.com samdomforpeace.com and uh, let me know if you have questions okay I hope you enjoyed the lesson thank you so much and you have a great day